If you read the contemporary sources, they're much more concerned with Satanism, and it seems a bit more like, uh, and a kind of almost a theistic Satanism, it's ambiguous, um, but it seems like after the fact, it seems like a, a, a retrospective um, reframing where they say, where Varg in particular um, tries to claim that this Satanism at the time was actually a kind of an expression of a pagan uh, identity, and Satan was the figure for it. And, and so I think, in fact, in in Rickenes in particular, I think there's actually a shift between those different kinds of Satanism, which he then obviously says, oh no, it was it was kind of, um, it was pagan symbolism all along. Yeah, yeah actually, Dina talked about that too, right? She talked about how it used to be all about Satan and then got kind of sidelined and became about pagan gods. Mm -hmm. and, and, I th and I think that that's, the, there definitely, it, it definitely seems to me that there's, um, that there's an overall shift in, in metal and perhaps particularly in black metal from Satanism to paganism, occultism, and perhaps a kind of a more broad and ambivalent uh, ideas about mysticism. Thank you for the presentation. Um, um, I, I study a little bit um, the 18th um, black metal, and yeah, it was kind of um, ambiguous between Satanism and occultism. It was in black magic, and um, it was very confusing uh, sometimes. And for the, yeah, I make my PhD on the noise and black metal, so. Um, there is a clearly a shift between the Satanism and Paganism. It was like, okay, so we are anti-Christian, uh, but we are the kind of pride of, of being no vision, and oh, anti-Christianism, so we can be neo-pagan, neo and uh, it shifts from Satan to Odin, uh, in a way with nature, and uh, so yeah, clearly, uh, and, and Vikernes even says, no, I, I never been a Satanist. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you don't and have to rewrite the history. And, and these, yeah. the connections between these things are really complicated, because of course, it's not fascist to be interested in nature. No. But <laughs> there, is, there, is a, there is a connection between the blood and soil ideologies, yeah. in the same way as paganism, you know, it's, it's, it's not inherently fascist, of course, but there are ways in which these uh, ideas can be can be turned into that, particularly with these ideas about about essentialism. Yeah, but ecology was first uh, a reaction, I guess, uh, from the right from the far right invocation. Yeah. Thank you very much. If you want to keep in time, we have to stop the questions now, but maybe we can talk later. Um, so now it's time for Ugo Pelone um, from the Complutense University of Madrid, uh, the Department of Musicology, and you've written about post rock. Yeah, um, this is about post rock. Yeah, but we're going to talk about Spanish doom.